can see this is uh, so my, my site. It's uh, it's pretty simple. It's just uh, a list of the five uh, best design links of the day. And uh, so I I, uh, I find the links along with other designers. So you can you can see the different users. And my goal with the site is to get people to to sign up here at the bottom and to leave me their email. So uh, for this, I use uh, this this app, which uh, you might know. Any Mailchimp users here? Yeah. Okay. So it's a pretty cool uh, app. Uh, I mean, it's a little bit expensive, but you know, it's a good app with good features. So I use it to send a newsletter, and this is what the newsletter looks like in Gmail. <coughs> people receive. And uh, my problem is, okay, I have about uh, 8,000 subscribers, which I think is pretty good, but, you know, I want to keep it growing. So I started thinking, how can I use uh, this existing subscriber base to keep growing and keep adding new people? So one idea I had was to do a referral program. So what that means is I tell people, okay, if you can get one of your friends to sign up, um, I will send both of you a gift. So the gift could be like a free ebook. Uh, it could be, you know, since since this is for designers, it could be a font or icon. Basically, it's an in incentive to get people to sign up. So I thought about it, and I realized you could do it actually without uh, without even needing to code. So we're gonna use. Okay. So basically, what we want to do is to be able to track the referrals. So for that, you know. We need uh, some kind of ID. So for the ID, we're uh, going to use the person's email, because everybody has an email. And we already know the email, because we're sending a new letter to the person. So I'll go, I'm going to show you what it would look like. So when the person receives uh, their daily email, let's uh, add a message saying, for example, uh, hi. Uh, um, if you forward this email to a friend uh, and they use this link to sign up, you will both get a gift. And the, the link we're going to use is the link to our sign-up form. So this is the sign-up form to the newsletter. And what we do is we use uh, MailChimp tags. So I'm going a little fast because I'm not just for the principle more than how you actually do it. But this part here is going to be replaced with the person's email. Then what happens is when the person forwards this email to a friend, they click this link, they get this form. Yeah, this form. And it's going to be pre-filled, referred by. It's going to be pre-filled with the email of the person who referred them. So now, once uh, the second person, so let's, let's call her uh, Alice is the first and Bob is the second. When Bob signs up, here in the referred by column, uh, we will see the email of the person who referred them. So this is pretty cool because we can track referrals. But what I also wanted to do is automate uh, sending a gift. And for that, there's an app that we can use called Zapier. <laughs> so uh, what Zapier does, it takes, you see there's two boxes, trigger action. It takes uh, a trigger from any one of those apps, and there are 180 apps. And it assigns it an action from one of another app. So in our case, this is what I did. So let me display that. So the trigger is a new subscriber, and the action is create email. Uh, with Mailgun, it's just like an email service provider. So it's not really important. It's just the service that will send the email. <coughs> so the only thing. Let me check. Um, it's almost there. Okay. So it's really 
really simple. I say, okay, if I receive a new subscriber, send them an email, and I add a condition, a filter, and the filter is this field, the referral field, exists. So this means I will only send the gift to people who have been referred by someone else, which is exactly what I want. Then all I need to do is write the actual email. Thanks for uh, sharing sidebar. Hey, you referred someone. Uh, thanks. Uh, here's a gift. And you include a link to the free ebook or free icon or free whatever. So um, what I did is create, create this and then duplicate it. So the reason I duplicate it, you can see there's two uh, called zaps, is because I want to send the gift to the new sign-up and also to the person to refer them. So um, I haven't tried it out yet, but uh, <laughs> I want to do it soon. And I thought it was interesting because you can set up a whole system like this without a single line of code. And, you know, even though everybody should learn to code, sometimes uh, <laughs> it's nice when you don't have to. Do you have to manually put in which gift you want to choose right now, or can you like, like do you have to go in there and change which gift mm -hmm. you want to choose periodically, or how does that? Yeah, right now it's like, you know, you can only send one email, okay. but um, you know, in Mailchimp, <coughs> you can, like, well, yeah, I guess you could change the gift uh, periodically, or you can also target like in Mailchimp pe people who have signed up since. Uh, like a certain. So you, filter. yeah, you can do like okay. campaigns. Okay. So change the gift. Okay. Would, would that mean that if I referred it to five people, I would receive five copies of the gift? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, so like, that, that's one thing. Yeah, but I mean, if if you refer five people, then I mean, I would be happy and you know, <laughs> probably yeah, you send you a personal email. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically, like it's a good problem to have. <laughs> okay. We were just talking about this, so that yeah, it's really yeah. helpful. Cool. Do I, do I get a percentage of your salary now? <laughs> <laughs> you get a free gift. Bento <laughs> bucks. <laughs> Same consult them. Do you use that key for other things? Um, not yet, but um, I want to. I mean, it's it seems really cool. Uh, if we can take a look at the the apps, so yeah, you can sign up people to Mailchimp when they pay you on PayPal, uh, Salesforce. Uh, and it's not just Mailchimp, so you can see all the apps here. So basically, you can pick any of these apps as a trigger and any of these apps as an action. So you have lots of combinations. Just, what's the pricing? Like yeah. on this? Uh, it's actually decent. Uh, it's uh, fifteen dollars per month for uh, three thousand tasks. So in my case, I have uh, eight thousand subscribers. So at most, if like everybody referred someone, it would cost me, uh, yeah, about uh, forty-nine dollars per month. But I mean, I don't expect that to happen. Yeah. So probably the fifteen dollar plan will be enough, which is much much cheaper than you know uh, Google AdWords or other ways of generating traffic. But you have to. Uh, to give your uh, login and your <laughs> password to Zapier? No, no, it's all done through uh, <coughs> and APIs. So. It's based on webhooks usually, mm -hmm. so it's mm -hmm. application to application directly. Yeah. So yeah. it's nothing to do, just two applications talking to each other, sending post requests with some token or something. But you can choose like mode one if you're interested. <laughs> 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 